together, we are going back to the moon. America is set to send a capsule to orbit the moon, a test mission to prove that it is safe to send astronauts back to the lunar surface. NASA says the big rocket and its capsule Orion are ready. Three, two, one. Orion has already flown to Earth orbit and back, but now the capsule will go deeper into space than any before it. NASA sounds confident about that trip, the rocket, and the capsule. The concern, however, is the trip home, re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Because priority one is to demonstrate the spacecraft's ability to re-enter at lunar re-entry conditions. Orion will hit the Earth's atmosphere at nearly 25,000 miles per hour. That is 32 times the speed of sound. The friction of the capsule hitting the atmosphere will create heat with temperatures half as hot as the sun. That is much faster and much hotter than we return or the temperatures that we see when we return from low Earth orbit. So hot, NASA cannot fully test that heat shield protecting the capsule. No aerodynamic or aerothermal test facility can recreate the conditions um, that we will see when we return from lunar uh, reentry and lunar return conditions. Without a full test, the question is, will the heat shield protect the capsule from burning up on reentry? There is a potential that, you know, because we can't test this fully on the ground, that through the reentry flight test that we could see something that um, we didn't anticipate. NASA came up with a completely new heat shield to protect the capsule. They're using a new heat shield material called Avcoat. It's an ablative material, which means part of it will melt off intentionally to dissipate the heat. Unlike Apollo, which had a single shield, the Avcoat is cut up into blocks, think shuttle tiles, and adhered to the bottom of the capsule. But without the full test, engineers are asking questions. Uh, the possibility for hot spots or uh, erosion uh, in or around the, uh, the gaps uh, between the blocks. The heat shields will also have to protect the capsule twice during the return to Earth. Orion will be traveling so fast, NASA plans what is called a skip reentry to slow it down. To understand the skip reentry, think of throwing a rock on a pond. Orion first hits the atmosphere at Mach 32. It then skips, actually flies, back into space. Then Orion dips back into the atmosphere on its way to the Pacific Ocean. That entry into the atmosphere also has to be precise. So that, that we don't come in so shallow that we literally um, uh, don't get aerodynamic capture and skip back out um, of the Earth's atmosphere and just, just kind of pass the Earth. A heat shield not fully tested made of new material, with a new design. It is priority number one on this mission. It's a safety critical um, piece of hardware, and um, it is something that absolutely has to work to protect the, uh, the crew and the spacecraft um, during the reentry phase. Which is why Mission Control will likely be holding its collective breath until Orion makes it through the atmosphere and its chutes deploy for splashdown.